Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of the Smart Drawing Tool. And if you did not watch the first part, you might want to watch the first part because uh, somebody on Facebook pasted this or posted this dotted line outline that she actually bought somewhere, I think, or they bought. And um, it's garbage. It can't be traced. I tried everything I can do. So I just redrew it. And, in the first video, I showed you how I drew this, but I, I stopped the video and, and finished drawing it so you wouldn't have to watch the whole thing. And if you notice on this side, the, I guess these are roses, and the roses are a little bit smaller. So, control D and make a duplicate. Hold down your control button and just flip it over. Now, we're going to change our nudge distance from 12, which we had it to 0.25. And we're going to nudge this flower in ever so little. But then we're going to squeeze it down using the outside handle so it's smaller, kind of like the original one. And you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. There's actually... You know, we could actually even rotate a little bit. Um, and I'm going to move it over a little bit more. Now, let's back it up. Take our nudge distance and put it on 0 .005, just to give it a lower number. Let's zoom in here. And this will save you from time from the time from redrawing a second one. We want that crescent in there. Then all I did was take the virtual segment delete key, delete tool, and delete these two lines. Take your smart fill tool and fill it in using your smart fill tool. Let's move it over here closer to the other one. Now, what I when I move the smart fill, you just have a an engravable area, nothing vector, but you could always put a hairline around this and cut it out. And what you, let's put no fill, and now you have a vectorized double flower. And on this one this morning when I did it, I put my crescents a little closer. You can see these are a little bit further apart. Let me black it in just so you can see that and take away the red line. But any three of these would work. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, that took me maybe five minutes to draw. And and I'm sure with this, you know, if you have a dotted line surface, it works better because it's actually, the Smart Fill tool is trying to go from node to node to node. Let me get back to the smart fill tool, smart drawing tool, and see it's co connecting on those nodes. And there's a curved line. Now I made a little hiccup right there, but it's a node, so you can delete it. And that's a pretty curved line. You actually delete that line, and you that's how I did the outside of the, the pedal, and then I just moved it over my 12 inches and and put it so if you did not watch the first video you need to watch the first video i think it'd be a lot easier to do it in sections than trying to go all the way around the whole thing because you could always put your cursor back on or your nudge distance on 12 inches and move that one part of the drawing like we did in, in the first video anyway i hope that helped them a little bit and thank you for watching.